Now, this one may get me in a little bit of trouble, but y'all got to remember, this is the Lord's work, not mine. Ladies, I want you to say something with me. The box is sacred. So see, contrary to popular belief, yes, men, we're the hunters, we chase it, etc., etc., right? But we do like a challenge. Hear me out. So if a man sees you as being this woman with a lot of redeeming qualities and all that, even though he wants you physically, he still would prefer in the back of his mind for you to tell him no. I know it's a weird concept to understand, but I'm just telling you from a man's perspective. Because what we know is that once we get that thing, the chances of things remaining the same in terms of us wanting to be consistent and pouring into you and all that, they dwindle down. And the reason why this happens is because the thing that you all have that is the most sacred thing, you've given it up without us having to put in a lick of work. Some of y'all got Labor Day weekend D from a man who ain't asked you not a single substantial question yet. He ain't fed you not one time. And I'm talking about food and knowledge. Now, somebody going to say, VZ, I did what I wanted to do. That's cool. But if you woke up this morning talking about good morning, King, you got the game fucked up. Because you still ain't even figured out whether or not he's a king or a peasant. Ain't no good morning king to a man whose primary job is to drop off D. The only time you need to hit him, it need to be a bat signal. <laughs> you gotta quit blurring the lines. Furthermore, don't y'all work real hard to get y'all pH balances together? I mean, I'm just asking the question because I don't know. I mean, because if somebody gonna throw off your pH balance, can it at least be somebody who takes you out for a good steak every now and then? And can it be from someone who actually tries to teach you something? Here's the real gag, though. Ain't it hard for men to kind of figure y'all out? I mean, your bodies, I mean, right? It takes time for a man to figure that out, right? Y'all got devices in the nightstand right now that ain't got to take no time to figure y'all out. Make it make sense. I mean, y'all got toys that will make you malfunction in less than a minute. But you rather wait an hour fighting sleep for a motherfucker to come across town who you don't even know going to make you reach the mountaintop. Okay, I'm a again, it's sacred and you got to treat it as such. What I can promise you is that the man who sees beyond your physicality will pour into you unlike any man ever has. But it starts with you and what you allow. And I do not want the ones who are getting their toes stepped on to be in my comments talking about I'm blaming y'all for anything. This is not blame. This is accountability. And if you actually listen to understand and not to respond, what you'll realize is you got a little bit of work to do. And that's OK. You got to use that discernment and that intuition to guide you, not them butterflies.